So, how many of you guys remember this clip? This is a this is a hard hitter for sure. Yeah, this would be expensive for sure. You weren't lying. This might be the most expensive offer I've ever made for a single game. If you'd meet me in the middle at 1750, could we work that? I can work with that. All righty. So that footage happened back last spring uh, when I was here in Clarksville doing a deal for the most expensive game I've ever bought at a thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars uh -huh. by far the most common comment i got on that video was caleb that game looks resealed are you sure that's authentic and uh various forms and expressions of that sentiment and I've continued to get questions similar to that on videos since then. I haven't made an update because I kept responding to people saying, I'm going to send this in to get graded. I'm going to see what they say. We will have it authenticated that way. And of course that process takes like months and months and months. Finally, late this summer, I got the email back saying, Mr. Ashton, this game has been resealed. <laughs> I paid $1,750 for a resealed game. You suck. Yeah, doesn't feel good. So naturally, after I got done panicking, I uh, sent a text message to the guy who sold it to me. He was very apologetic and said, hey man, uh, come back down to the store whenever you get the chance down here in Tennessee, uh, and we'll go ahead and make it right for you. And today, that's what you guys are gonna get to see. All right, so I just got done talking to RJ here at Retro Revival in Clarksville. Uh, he's the one that I initially did the deal with. We decided we're just going to shoot for around $1,600 uh, if we can. The original purchase price was, original purchase price was $1,750. CIB copies of Yoshi's Story are selling for like in the 100 to 150 range. Uh, and that one actually is still in my possession. So we're going for 1600 or so if we can in trade credit. So let's go in there and make it happen. Okay, first things first. This is one of the coolest paintings I've ever seen. And they have coasters too. That is too cool. All right, so this is the kind of stuff that I'm gonna be trying to stock up on, like the kind of higher dollar stuff. Uh, that'll be pretty quick flips. That's definitely uh, what's most on my radar, the glass case kind of items. On the orange N64, does that have the controller with it too? I will tell you, I have an orange controller with it, but it's not the Okay, okay, so I did see something that intrigues me. I'm not sure if it's on the table or not. What do you have on those booster boxes? 800 and 400, okay. I know that's that's pretty close to the range that they go for, because th that's the kind of thing that could maybe be good for a trade video in the future. I'll think about those. I'll look. I'll, I'll take a look at some of these other games and kind of see, but I don't know, that may be a, a easy shortcut that we could do, because at this point the balance is only, what, like like seven, 750 more or so? Yes. Okay, um, I'll keep those in mind then. Do you mind if I take a look at them? Not a lot of serious interest. Well, I mean, there is. There's nobody has $800 to drop on a booster box of cards. Yeah. You didn't get this from the same guy as the Yoshis, did you? This game has been resealed. Okay, that gives me confidence. Disc, okay, disc one, uh, action replay max, disc two, PC data disc, the max memory card, and the max USB. I have no idea how this no, worked. No clue. What in the world? Never. Was this, was this for the PC? Well, no, it says PS2. Okay, yeah, I'm curious what this actually goes for. I may have to do some research on that. All right, so I've been looking at the PS3 section over here. Haven't found a ton that really catches my eye. I'm going down to the PSP. Ben 10, maybe something. Oh, there's another Street 3. Hmm, yeah, that's not, not a bad price there. Don't mind if I do. Money! And it's looking like there actually is some room on this uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 here. 23 or so after fees if I'm lucky given that I'll do this through FBA. I'm not being quite as picky with uh, the stuff that I pick up at this stop as I normally am. Uh, that one doesn't have the manual. I probably will pass on that. Looks like some of these loose GameCube games may actually have some potential as well. 20 apiece on Street V3 on GameCube. I think I actually will go ahead and pull the trigger on these looks like. We've got some potential on Amazon. 
and a ton of piece for Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Not a ton of room on those, and I don't love disc only, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger as well. Bloody Roar Primal Fury for 30. I don't see why not. Uh-oh. Gex 3 again for $10. Must be a sign. All right, man, you ready for my proposal? Will you marry me? Okay, so got these games here, these ones here, maybe the Coral Switch Lite, and then if we throw in the Roaring Skies booster box on top of this stuff, that comes to like 753. Okay, that's cool with me. That work for you? Yeah, the Switch Lite down there. Mind if I check this out real quick? Oh yeah. There's no DSLR Cause those come in Coral as well. Awesome, man. I appreciate that. Oh, Magical Racing Tour was my jam as a kid. Mickey Moss. Head coach is a decent one. All right, shoot me a number on this stack. Honestly, some of these is kind of a gut feeling. But uh, let's see, I'm thinking uh, 110. If there are any like really solid gems in there, like I didn't know the monster, monster seed one, if that's all that good. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's like $40. Okay. I, I could be wrong, that's not good. I don't, I don't remember that. I looked, I looked these all up, like I said, because- let me, let me check on that one. That was the only one that I didn't really have a sense of. Yeah, loose, uh, 18, 27, 19. So I was probably about in the right range. But like 120. Sure, let's do 120. All right. <laughs> All right, so what just happened in there was he actually got the other location to just Venmo me 750 and said, all right, for the remaining balance, let's just, you know, go ahead and see if we can find some stuff, find enough stuff to uh, make it worth your while. So we did that with this Roaring Skies booster box, which I think is going to be great for another potential Pokemon trade video. People were really liking those when I was posting them. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, also, as you guys saw the Switch Lite, and I also picked up a solid stack of like loose stuff right at the end there that uh, he just didn't have out for display. Uh, so I ended up getting a good deal on that as well. Normally when I'm doing deals like this, I'm looking for stuff and looking to try to get deals on stuff where I can be in the neighborhood of like doubling my money. And usually if I'm buying in bulk and when I have bought with these guys in bulk before, they'll give me a solid discount so that I'm able to get closer to that kind of margin. But today, I wasn't really doing that at all. I was pretty much just buying stuff for retail price and didn't end up insisting on like going for the full, like whatever the difference ended up being. I think I ended up leaving like maybe an extra hundred bucks on the table or something like that. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, Caleb, like, did you just get scammed? And like, why are you not like more mad at these guys? And what's your take on this whole situation? And also all of this stuff is going to end up being more work for you. So why aren't you insisting on like getting more like actual profit out of it for your time. I'm gonna go get some dinner and then we'll talk about that stuff. Wow, I'm hungry. All right, so here I am in my hotel room for the night. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a closer look at the disc only games that I got. Indigo Prophecy, uh, Aliens vs. Predator. I couldn't remember if this one is as good on the 360 as it was on the PS3, but we just kind of did a bulk deal for them. The Grinch on the PS1. Warriors is one that I know I've bought on the PS2 before. Billy and Mandy. Matrix Path of Neo. This is one that I got a few copies of in my last video. Crash Twin Sanity. Test Drive Eve of Destruction is another one that I got in my last vid. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, Digimon Rumble Arena. I couldn't remember if this one also was one of the better Digimon titles on the PS1. Head Coach 09, Monster Seed is worth like uh, 30 or something like that. Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum, as well as Nightmare Before Christmas on Xbox. Now, I want to talk about this whole reseal scenario because I wouldn't be surprised if there are a lot of people out there who are saying, Caleb, you let these people off too easy. Like, I don't understand why, like you're taking this posture given that a game that they sold you at a, like, at least for me was a pretty high price, the most expensive game I've ever bought. And it turned out to be resealed. Like, isn't that like a red flag for a scam alert kind of a thing? And in reality, I just don't think so. And that's for two reasons. One is, I don't have any reason to believe that it was. I think this was just a mistake, both on my part and also on their part. And I, as a rule of thumb, 
like to assume the best in people rather than assuming the worst. And the second reason is, when I texted him about it, he responded not like somebody who was defensive and like trying to get one over on me, but rather what he said was, dude, I'm so sorry, this is really embarrassing. What can I do to make this right for you? And I just know that, especially as someone who myself is prone to make mistakes in business, as you guys well know, because I try to do a decent job of showing them on this channel, as I was examining myself, I was just thinking, man, that's exactly how I would respond in this situation if this same thing had happened to me and I had accidentally sold somebody a resealed game thinking that it was actually a sealed one. Also, when he sold it to me, he knew that I was going to be sending it in for grading, so it'd be a very short-sighted strategy to intentionally sell me a game that was resealed if he had known that it was resealed in the first place. So I just genuinely believe that this was a mistake on both parties. So that's the answer to why I wasn't like going in there angry about this whole thing. And as for the second question of why I didn't try to like target inventory that I'd be able to make more money on, uh, with the exception of some of these loose games, I think I'll be able to make a decent bit on those. Because as you guys know, buying those kinds of items for full price is definitely not commonplace for me because I can't really make all that much money on them. But the reality is I was just kind of feeling for them as like one small business to another. This last month or so has been kind of rough for them because for a period of two weeks or so, they actually had both of their like two or maybe they have three employees out with COVID. That's been really having a hard impact on their bottom line. And I just know that like, if I had had that same event happen to me, even though like I'm not technically losing that $1,700 because like I'm just, it's essentially a return that's happening. Having to lose that amount of inventory slash refund that amount because they did end up refunding half of it, you know, just in cash. Having that amount of money slash inventory going out of inventory or your bank account in an already pretty tough month, I just didn't feel like twisting the knife into that already hard situation. So anyways, that's why I wasn't in there only looking for products that I can make a profit on, and I wasn't asking for any discounts, because on my side, if I can come out of this whole experience, which, let's face it, was a huge error on my part as well, because I also wasn't able to spot that reseal, even though people in the comments were. So that's another takeaway for you guys from this whole situation, is like, a lot of people assume that I am some sort of like a veteran in the industry or an expert just because I have a YouTube channel. In reality, I'm like, I sent my first games in to get graded just in 2020. So I'm learning this stuff along with you guys as I go. So as for me, if I'm able to just like recoup my original investment and not have to lose any money on what was in reality a pretty serious mistake, I am more than happy. And especially if I can maintain this business connection for future transactions. I would much rather do that than assume the worst in somebody and have to sacrifice that future relationship. That just doesn't make sense to me. And also folks, if you guys are ever in the Clarksville, Tennessee area, definitely check out Retro Revival. They did everything they possibly could to make this situation completely right for me, which is what I admire most about small businesses. I think that customer service and truly standing by your products is a huge reason that uh, I'm so big on shopping local. So definitely support those guys if you are ever in the area. Anyways, folks, I'm gonna get some rest here. By that, I really mean I'm gonna play my Switch for a few hours and then get some rest. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit different than usual. Feel free to let me know your opinions as I'm sure you will in the comments below. Always interested to see you guys' thoughts. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, I will catch you all on the flip.